In this video, we are going to introduce the unit circle definition for trigonometry. What is a unit circle? Again, it is a circle drawn in our xy coordinate system. It is centered at the origin, and most importantly, it has a radius of 1, and that is why it is called a unit circle. And we learned how to write the standard equation for a circle. Therefore, this circle has the equation x squared plus y squared equals to 1. Now, again, let's draw our angle theta in its standard position. And the terminal side of this angle theta intercepts with this circle at a point with coordinates x and y. Don't forget, once again, since this point is on the circle, therefore, x squared plus y squared equals to 1. Now we are ready to use the unit circle to define the six trigonometric functions for angle theta. Sine theta is simply y. Cosine theta is simply x. Tangent theta again equals to sine theta over cosine theta, which is y over x. Tangent theta is undefined if x is 0. Then we have the other three trigonometric functions defined as the reciprocals of these three. Cosecant theta is 1 over y. Secant theta is 1 over x. And cotangent theta is x over y, which is 1 over tangent theta. If you draw a right triangle here, you will see that this right triangle will have the hypotenuse side of 1 and the other two sides with the length of x and y. Therefore, if you compare the unit circle definition to the right triangle definition, you will see that this definition here does not contradict with the right triangle definition. However, using the unit circle definition, we can find the trigonometric functions for any angle theta. Theta can be any real number. Also, you can see clearly that coterminal angles will have exactly the same six trigonometric function values. Once again, since this point with coordinates x and y is a solution point on this unit circle, therefore, x squared plus y squared must equal to 1. And since we just said sine theta equals to y and cosine theta equals to x, Substitute them in, we got sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared equals to 1. Normally, it's written this way. This is one of the most important identities in trigonometry, and it is called the Pythagorean identity, which tells you that for the same angle, its sine value squared plus its cosine value squared must equal to 1. Let's look at the coordinates of some common points. First of all, the x-axis and y-axis divide this unit circle into four even parts. And x-axis and y-axis intercept the unit circle at these four points. Then, if we divide this unit circle into eight even parts, these special points have these coordinates. And if we divide this circle into 12 even parts, then these special points have these coordinates. It looks like a lot, but I want you to pay attention and see how these numbers are related and notice the symmetry. Let's look at this example. We need to use this unit circle to determine the sine value of angle negative 3 quarter pi. To use the unit circle to determine the trigonometric function values, we need to first draw the angle in its standard position. At this point, if you are still not familiar with angles given in radium, you can first convert this angle into degrees, which is negative 135 degree. Now we draw it on our coordinate system. Since this is a negative angle, make sure you draw it by rotating clockwise. 
And as you can see, this is where the terminal side of this angle intercept with the unit circle with coordinates of negative square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2. And since, according to our definition, sine theta is the y coordinate, therefore, in this case, sine negative 3 quarter pi equals to the y value, which is negative square root of 2 over 2. Let's look at another example. We need to use the unit circle to determine cotangent 7 third pi. Again, if you are not familiar with radian yet, convert this angle into degree first, which is 420 degree, which is bigger than 360 degree, so you know that this angle is more than one revolution. And then, again, we draw it in its standard position. And this is where the terminal side of this angle intercept with the unit circle. And as you can see, the xy coordinates are 1 half and square root of 3 over 2, respectively. And according to the definition, cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent theta, which is x over y. Therefore, since x equals to 1 half, y equals to square root of 3 over 2, cotangent 7 third pi equals to square root of 3 over 3. We do the similar thing for this example. We need to determine secant negative half pi. If you wish to, you convert negative half pi into degree first, which is negative 90 degree. We draw it in its standard position. This is the point where the terminal side of the angle intercept with the unit circle. The x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is negative 1. According to definition, secant theta equals to 1 over x. Notice that secant theta is undefined if x is 0. Therefore, in this problem, secant negative half a pi simply is undefined.